Um, according to the concept of original sin, um, generations will be um, inheriting sin from Adam and Eve, generation after generation. We reject this theory, obviously. But um, how do we reconcile the, uh, our belief that this isn't true when we see in the world of, uh, in the medical world, um, genetically inherited disease seems to be passing down through the generations, and it would seem that Allah is punishing. There is no sin, which is uh, which passes down the generations, because sins, sin once committed has to be punished by God, by divine laws, outside these laws, which command the body. So within the body, it is cause and effect, and we never deny that. Causes always leave effects, and they may leave effects on generations to come. It doesn't mean that sin is handed down. For, in, for example, if somebody gives somebody arsenic poison. Now, arsenic is a poison which uh, can be administered to your enemy while it is not eaten as suicide. So if it is eaten as suicide, it is his sin. If it is given to an enemy, it is the sin of the person who gives it. If it was sin who was handed, which was handed down, the person who gave arsenic should also have arsenic in his blood handed down to generations. But whether you take it yourself or somebody else gives you, arsenic has its effects going down the generation. First of all, it doesn't leave the body at all. If you now, even after thousands of years, and secondly, the effects it causes in the body are generated and they go down the generations. Similarly, the venereal diseases, they act accordingly, in exactly in the same sense. The, the poison is carried down the generations because of cause and effect philosophy. Otherwise, the people themselves who have not committed that crime, they should be innocent, and they are innocent, but because of this uh, system of, I mean, this uh, system of cause and effect in the blood, they also suffer. But they suffer in this world, while if they had committed sin, they would suffer also, or they may suffer also, in the world to come, that's again a separating line between the two. The same is the case with mercury and sulfur. <coughs> they continue to affect generation after generation. <coughs>